I was lucky enough recently to meet the author of the book In The Zone, and as you can imagine, it jumped off my list, a chap called Clyde Brolin. I will add that's not his real name. And of course, I won't reveal his real name, so it's a bit of a pen name. Um, so I'd like to thank Clyde for what he's put together in the book, In The Zone. A um, couple of areas, he talks about three areas. He talks about the idea of conceiving, and this is based on sport, by the way, how you can conceive, believe, and achieve. And under conceive, he talks about visualization, really prevalent in sport, but you know, the reason we mention it, because it could be perhaps more prevalent and needs to be more prevalent in organizations and business. In terms of believe, talks about courage, risk, confidence, and attitude, great stuff. And they achieve things like focus, always, always a big focus, resilience, teamwork, and passion. So some real usual suspects. And I think he talks really about what it's, what he talks about in terms of interviewing lots of different athletes. He interviewed 148 people involved in sport, athletes and or coaches. And they talk a little bit about what is the zone for them, um, less about how to get there. They talk more about their experience of what it's like and a little bit about, well, a lot about of why it's important in terms of performance. And obviously the, one of the things about sport is so demonstrable, you know, a second here, a second there can mean a big difference. But how do you measure that when I'm up on stage presenting or whether you're problem solving or hacking through a spreadsheet or something like that? So great read. If you really want to just get what is flow or in the zone like, particularly in an athletic environment, although, you know, a lot of it extends beyond that. The bit I was wondering, the extension I'd make to the book is if he looked at 27 different sports, 148 athletes who talked about being in the zone. These guys know this. This is bread and butter to them. You know, you know, the kind of cliche that there aren't any gold medals won without being in the zone. There aren't any gold medals won without a coach pretty close behind. But I did really just like the numbers there. He can find 148 people who go, yeah, I know what you're talking about, although it might not be difficult to articulate and express they can talk about it they can give these experiences of when it's happened to them and that is really powerful I remember in 20 different sports 27 different sports and interesting the idea of being in the zone and being in flow is somewhat hidden particularly if you're an athlete why would you share what you do to get in the zone because obviously someone else will share it and grab it and it got me thinking in sport you spend an awful time an awful lot of time performing and a small time actually performing Whereas in organizations, it's the other way around. You're performing a lot. You know, you're there in, in the you know, environment of performance a lot. And the development is on the other side. Like the 80-20, I suppose it's 80% uh, development perhaps in sport, just throwing out a number, 20% performance, and perhaps more 80% of actually the doing, the performing, and less around the developing. So I was wondering whether it had something to do with that. And of course, what sport does naturally is it really personifies some of the, the elements that are required to be at your very best. So it's all, it is about mindset, it's about the environment, whether that's the track, the pitch, the arena, the stadium, the tournament, the competition. You often have the social environment, particularly obviously in team sports. And I was wondering how that extends to work. And actually, do we really need that mindset when we pile into the office that morning to be at our very best? Well, there's no real consequences there. There's no real danger afoot. What is that environment like when we come into work? Is it a high performance environment or is one where the, the lighting and the seating, to name but a few, are poor? And what's happening socially? So what if we treated our work a bit like sport? And competition, by the way, is where we strive together. That comes in quite a lot, that, the idea of what competition actually means. That's, that's the real meaning of the word. Rather than trying to me beat you, you know, it's like a, a win or no win situation. I think we need to develop in environments like organizations to have more of a need focus and a want focus because you have that in sport i need to pay attention right now because if i don't i'm be embarrassed or actually risk my my life or, or limb and of course a lot of these sporting environments these 27 different sports will all rely on being in the moment so there's a couple of factors we can bring in in terms of organization wide so can we think about our work being competitive or in a sporting environment thinking more perhaps just powering up our needs versus our wants and perhaps being a bit more in the moment. So yeah, check out Clyde Brolin in the zone. Really, I mean, it's literally 200 odd pages of literally great athletes and how they experience being in the zone, what it's like. What you're gonna have to do is join the dots for you. And that's, that's the whole point because everyone does it differently anyway. How can you get in that zone? If you know what it is, how it's described, some out of body stuff, some really cool stuff. How can you get there would be a good shout.